Digital Voice has meant to me is basically a way of encouraging me to believe in myself a bit more. I can see now that I've always had imposter syndrome, but I don't think I kind of really knew it at the time. I was always kind of lacking in the confidence and the ability to push the skills that I've got out. I always kind of felt I wasn't clever enough or bright enough to be able to put these points across. When I uh, applied for Digital Voices, I had a lot of uh, uh, issues uh, that were holding me back. One of the first things I would cite is the fear of saying yes. I wouldn't stand up, I wouldn't do anything, I'd sort of take a back seat. So if I went to a meeting, I wouldn't say anything. Um, if any jobs came up, I wouldn't apply for them because I, was, oh, I wasn't good enough. So my confidence took a real big knocking. I was getting good feedback from my manager and my colleagues, but at the back of my head I'd be thinking, oh, they're, they're just being nice, they don't really mean it. I didn't have that belief in myself. I always felt that if I were to say yes, then it would be I would be the one who's in, in forefront. So I wanted to get that fear out of my system. I used to be a person with like good, really like high responsibility. It's like a domino effect. You get knocked down, you go down, you go down. But then whereabouts? You know, where do you look at to pull yourself back again? This digital voices has come along at the right time for me. It's helped me, you know, to be to be a better person. I would say to be a better me. But it's given me a lot more confidence in my ability, and now I can speak more confidently in public. I've learned the art of saying yes. I put my hands up and said that I'm going to talk about being a woman in technical architect role. I was quite nervous, uh, but then when those things went away, it gave me the impetus that I can do more. Getting promoted during Digital Voices was one of the proudest moments. You know, I've proved that I am that person, I can do that job, and, and I, am, I am getting back out there. My proudest moment in Digital Voices has got to be speaking at Civil Service Live in Edinburgh. It was, it was a buzz, that confidence then goes out in your private life as well. You know, I've joined a, a swimming programme, I've lost a couple of stone, got a new lease of life from Digital Voices. I wrote a blog and when it got published on the gov.uk website, I got some messages from some people that I used to work with. It was really good because I think they'd seen something in me all along, I just hadn't seen it in myself. But now I'm kind of saying, okay, I have got the potential to do more and I'm finally starting to believe it.